27, 2021. Pins called pin, pin wrist, right? So we can see right here that yesterday we had topped out and we were going to have the quarterly earnings and that's what we had. And we are breaking down toward the lows right here right now. Okay, so we were up here at the highs up here at around 78, 70. So we're down, you know, we were down, we're down pretty good size right here, right now. That's on a four hourly chart. This is what it looks like on an hourly. You can see it on a uh, hourly straight off the cliff. You see that? Straight down. Then we hit the lows right here at 69.10. And we're currently at the lows of, let's see, 69.38 cents. So, once again, the earnings release was not favorable. And that's what happens when they're not favorable. Okay. And the guidance wasn't really favorable in my view. And how they missed was, wasn't the right thing. But it doesn't matter. What does matter, though, is it does recover after it gets sold down on the daily charts and whatnot. So it's breaking below the 100-day simple moving average now as we speak. And the 200, well, that's way down there around $57, $58, another $10 lower from here. So after hours, once again, you can see the stock prints on pin, okay? 69.36 by 69.41. Other quarters, they've done well and they've gone up, but not this one. And that's alarming in the space because they're not making that much money as they were. So you could also say, is that a stay at home stock, you know, when we have the pandemic in full swing, which we don't. So everybody's going out and whatnot. So how much? How many people are on their platform and the users, if they drop off, well, Wall Street doesn't like that part of it. Nonetheless, it's down. So there are buying opportunities when it comes down, if it hits a 200-day moving average. So go ahead, keep your eyes on PINS.